Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet Classic here in the Congo River, Africa. And this is going to be probably, well, actually, it's going to be my last episode here because my license and my pond pass is about to run out. In fact, it'll probably run out in about another 45 minutes to an hour, something like that. Thought I'd give the flat spoons a try with the Nile Perch. Figure I might as well see if I can't break my record for the trophy Nile Perch that I caught in this location off screen. I have not been able to get a unique, but even if I was able to catch one, I couldn't keep it. I don't have a keep net that's big enough to hold one. Yeah, they get well over 300 pounds. I'm not sure if they are the biggest of the fish in this game, but they are definitely right up there with the bull shark from the Amazonian maze. Now, I haven't tried this flat spoon before. I was hoping... Whoa! <laughs> okay, I guess it works. It works like a dream for the African tiger fish, but, and especially for the goliath, but I guess it works for these guys too. Unless I've got one of the other two. I have caught African tigerfish here in... I don't think I've caught a goliath. I think I've only caught African. Caught catfish here. I've caught... Malabios. Quite a few other species, but... No goliaths. Well, we're definitely going to see how we do here. This is a decent sized fish. Now that would be one great fitting to end this particular series to catch unique. I don't know if it breaks the XP for the unique for the uh, Goliath or not. I really don't know. But this is definitely a big one. You guys, I think I'm going to be here a little while. I swear to God. Yeah, I have employed the... See, the only problem with the tactic of using the boat as a tool where the fish can pull the boat around, since we're near the Cascade Falls, we're right at the boundary of the map, and it's like a wall. So the boat just kind of bumps up against it, and the fish can pull with it against it as if you have the anchor down. So... Or if you're on shore. So there's not really a whole lot I can do to, to improve things, unfortunately. Still a little bit better. Okay, I think he's coming now. I thought I was going to have to cut the video there so that I could take out some of the wasted time. Not wasted time, but the fighting time. I mean, I know you guys don't want to just sit there and see this going up and down. All we're doing is staring at the sky for the most part, but you've got to keep this up in the air with these guys. These guys are masters at getting the tension to drop too low and then escaping. I think they're worse than the tigerfish are. See? I think we got this guy. I think we got this guy. Yeah, we got him. Okay. See, this is just a Nile perch. Common size. 123 pounds. Common size. The babies are over 80 pounds. <laughs> I mean, amazing how big these are, these fish get. Like I'm going to show you here real quick. This is, it comes up, common size. <laughs> Damn near as big as I am. That's a fish, man. But I tell you, it does not take long for you to fill up your net. That's for darn sure. You might be able to get four or five of these monsters in your net if you're lucky. That's okay. We can do. We can deal with that. I've got to get the boat all the way back because 
he tugged me all the way over here into the channel next to the island. So let me go ahead and get that Sarles positioned again and I will bring you back. Alright guys, we're back here in position again. Went ahead and threw it out about 160 feet. This thing can only cast out 160 feet, but more than enough of this rod. This rod is pretty powerful. Like 87 pound test. I think the line is 83, something like that. Got this from the Amazonian Maze DLC. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, I got this from the Amazonian Maze DLC, and I was using this to catch bull sharks, so I knew it could handle things like the Nile perch, the African tigerfish, and the Goliath tigerfish. And they really do go for these flat spins. If you're in a peak time, it seems to work really well. I had tried using it earlier, but I realized I must have been doing it during the non-peak time. Now these guys bite even better at night, in my opinion. But honestly, since we're recording here, I wanted you to be able to see just how big these guys are in the sunlight I'm hoping I can get a couple of full nets here before th this pond pass runs out but this guy's pushing he's pushing the limits here he's he's got almost out to 200 feet and I getting a little concerned that he might spool me if I'm not careful, especially since he's on the other side of that invisible wall. Oh boy. Yeah, that's getting a little... It's getting squirrely here. I think... I think we might be alright. I don't know. We're... He's holding his own, I'll tell you that. He's pulling this boat all over the place, too. You just gotta keep with him, guys. Keep it up in the air. Sometimes it's, you know, usually they you don't want to reel it too much. Because it's just kind of a waste of time. But with these guys... If they get any slack, I mean even a minutest amount of slack, you've lost your fish. Okay, we're making it. There you go. There you go. Perfect example. You saw it. You saw it. The bugger just had it up in the air, reeling it in at the same time. He still got past it. I'm telling you, they are really good at that. And I must have had a great... A great one that was. I mean, it had to be at least a trophy. At least a trophy. Now that's infuriating, but you know, hey, sometimes the fish wins. All right. I didn't take the boat all the way back to where I'd started from. I wanted to give it a try over on this side of things. So far, I have gotten a bite just about every cast. And that is good. That means plenty of action. There we go again. I swear to God, they really, really like this. This lure. This is an awesome lure for these guys. Now, well, let's just let him pull. Now, if he would go to the left, that would be better. You're less chance of you losing the fish if he doesn't have something to pull up against. If he can drag this boat, it's going to tire him out. But he's coming in a little too easy. I think this might be a young now perch, honestly. Yep. He only weighs 76 pounds. <laughs> That's all. No big deal. 
He's just a baby. Alright, shoot, I hate when I do that. <laughs> Still get used to the rod holders. Yeah, if you're too close to them, they'll automatically plop, plop them in there if you're not careful. Yeah, this is going to play out really well in some of the other lakes that I just opened. Can't wait to try it out at the uh, Blue Crab Island, um, Maku Maku Lake. Trying to decide if I should go ahead and do videos for that or if I should get the next DLC. Was it Mar Maroon Lake or whatever it's called? I think it's I think it's in Bolivia. I'm not sure exactly its actual location. I'll have to check it again. But we'll see how things play out. Alright, managed to catch a young now perch just a little while ago. And it's been damn been biting for a little bit here. Just a few casts. Thought I'd There we go. Tried it on the left side this time instead of the right side. Yeah, you gotta kinda move your Okay, could move your line around. Sometimes if you fish the spot one spot too often, they won't bite. He was pretty it was pretty close to the boat before he bit on that too. I've had him bite though as close as twenty five feet from the boat. Now this one gotta keep it up in the air guys you gotta keep it up in the air I'm trying to get him to come over to the left side so that I can let him pull the boat that's kinda the best thing to do I mean, he is now pulling the boat so now our chances of getting is a lot higher in a shorter amount of time now once he gets about 30 feet he's staying near under the boat so then it's then it's a bit of a fight to get him into the boat as you can see alrighty another Nile perch, another common one 102, a little on the small side for them actually trying to get this repositioned one more time again get closer to those markers yeah the markers if you're not sure where to place them you gotta you just really gotta look for that boy and then it's out there about oh about 150 feet I guess roughly maybe a little less but not too much Anywhere along this pathway, you're going to do pretty good with these guys, obviously. Now, if you're bottom fishing, same's true. Just cast them out towards that area. And if you're float fishing, the same thing. I have caught them using every method. And the best bait I've used to date has been the large minnows. They will also bite on shiners real well, too. But the large menace seem to be their favorite. Ooh, see? That wasn't too far from the boat. Now, if I can just get this guy to go 
the other direction. Come on. This way, dummy. <laughs> this way, this way. No, not that way. This way. Ugh. I think it's... Well, I don't know. I was going to say I thought it was a... Maybe a young one, but now he's making a break for it. I don't know. Yeah, the size actually can be very misleading for these guys. I had pulled in the trophy that I did. And honestly, he was... I really had no idea it was going to be a trophy. He was kind of close to the boat where I caught him, and I just got lucky and yanked him out of the water. Suddenly I had a great big old fish. I have fought one... Like, ten minutes. Pulled him in, he's just common size. <laughs> so, yeah. They're easily, easily misleading as far as their size goes. Well guys, I had to bring you back. This is taking quite a bit longer than I expected. I am still fighting this guy. Been fighting him for the better part of seven, eight minutes now. But I think I've got him. I think I've got him. Hope I've got him. I don't want to lose him, that's for darn sure. This I've lost like three of them right at about 14 feet. It's like they do not want to get the darn boat. Come on. Get in. In the boat. In the boat. Don't you do it. There you go. New personal record, guys. 267. I beat my personal record. Awesome. 37,963 cash. 18,756 XP gained. I tell you, now that is going to help. That's going to help a lot. Man, they are big. I don't know if they are the biggest. I have not, like I said, caught a unique yet. So, I don't know if they're the biggest. Or it's the Nile, not the Nile Perch, the Bull Shark. But that is a big fish. It's up there. Definitely going to get a picture of him. If I can get... I wish you could see your face. That's the only problem. His fin is obscuring my face. I guess it's just going to have to be that way. Fish looks like he has legs. <laughs> That's a monster. It is a monster. Yeah, I wanted to get another picture without the... That little thing at the bottom right corner. There we go. Very nice. That's a flat one and the one half ounce six odd flat spoon is what I'm getting with the Tropicana seven foot by seven inch. Is the rod. I think I'm using 87 pound braid. I can't read that really. 83 pound braid, I'm sorry. The Bale Arena 7500 is what I'm using for the reel. Oh, it's mono line, it's not braid line, I'm sorry. I really seriously need new glasses. I've been struggling with that for weeks now. As not what they used to be. Alright, now that we got the boat repositioned, let's see if we can get another one here. So far, there hasn't been too much of a lapse. In between bites. I mean, see what I mean? <laughs> I mean, it's been like, it's been just like that. 
It might have been three or four casts in a row that I did earlier where I, I split it out there. That I didn't get something, but for the most part, every time I've cast this thing out. If you're wondering why I'm not using bottom rods, don't need to. <laughs> Haven't needed to, honestly. I tried doing bottom rods and float fishing out here when I was uh, fishing for Nile Perch earlier, and I found myself. I'd catch one, the other two would get bites, and then I'd lose them, and then I'd lose the bait. So it just wasn't worthwhile. Since I catch them so often, and you can only care, keep so many in the net, it really does, is better to use one rod at a time. If you're bottom fishing, I would just use the two bottom rods, but I wouldn't go beyond that, really. They bite too much and too often, so you're not going to really be sitting around twiddling your thumbs too much, that's for sure. Again, the only problem is, is that you do fill up your keep net really fast. So, that means you have to be able to advance to the next day. Sometimes, you can fill that sucker up so quick that you've still got cooldown period to go. I'm going to get this guy in here. Come on. I hate when they go into the boat like that. Another trophy. Now he's not nearly as big as the last one. 203 pounds. The other one was 267. But still. Not a small fish by any means. I think I've got better lighting here too. Good. Yeah, you can actually see my face a little bit. <laughs> sort of. Ish. Get a picture of him, too. Might as well. It's a little bit better, like I said. The lighting's a little bit better over on this side of things. Yep, our net is full. And see what I mean? I've got time to kill. <laughs> I cannot. My keep net is full and I cannot forward it to morning. So I can try fishing, but I'm not going to be able to keep it. I can just get the XP if I so desire. But I think what I'm going to do is put a break in here, guys. I'll be right back. Alright guys, I am back again. I thought I was recording earlier, sorry about that. Yeah, I had gone ahead and fast forwarded it to the next day and to the next big peak. Thought I hit record. Luckily I caught it before this fish got away. We are well on the way to filling our net yet again and came back caught several young and one regular Nile perch I'm thinking I might have either a trophy or another good size Nile perch okay it's regular Nile perch but 147 that's nothing to sneeze at that's on the upper end of the common size Just like I said, it takes no time to fill this thing up. Yeah, I think the most I've seen myself be able to catch on this is something like around 7 <laughs> before I have to fast forward it to the next day. So. But even with the young ones, then the XP is real good. The cash is real good. Something. I don't know if that was a bite. Yeah, it was a bite. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes you might catch the bottom a little bit, but that was not that was not the case there. I 
I was kind of hoping to get a, one more trophy. Or unique, maybe even better. I don't think that's what this is, but... Then again... I could be wrong, you know. Okay. Yeah, he is not wanting me to go below 60. I'm just getting over here. Come on, come on. There you go. And he takes it back out. Thought he was going to take it back out to 60, and he almost did it again. And he did. He did it. Okay, this guy's been a little bit tougher to bring in than I thought he was going to be. Been fighting him for a while. Longest time, I just couldn't get him past 60. He'd get down to 52, back up to 60. Up to 70, back down to 50. And he's pulling the same crap, and... And shoot. Just keeping it up in the air. I think I got him though this time. I think I got him. Don't lose him. Oh come on, don't lose him. Come on. Okay, there we go. He's just a common. He is up on the upper scale of common, 166. That is very big for a common. Very big for a common. And he has dragged my boat all the way over here. Way over here, honestly. Yeah, we're about to run out of time here, guys. Yeah, once that thing, it'll pop up telling me when my my Congo Pond Pass is about to expire. And when it does, I'm going to have to stop this because I can't trust that I won't, if I try to sell these fish, that it isn't going to find me. I want, it, want them to get paid out before that occurs. I don't know that it'll do that, but I'm not going to take that chance. It's happened in the past. Just like to get one more here. Yeah. I don't know if that was a bite, but then last time they that happened, he came back for it, so Oops, see? Right there near the... Right, right at the... Well, I'll be damned. There you go. Goliath Tigerfish. This is the first and only one I've caught here. Not bad. I'll be darned. Well, I wasn't sure if they were over here, but apparently they are. Well, good. That... That really pleases me. That's probably going to be the last one I get for this trip. I damn near had the line of the boat, I swear to God, he was like... Just about done. Alright, I think I got me another young Nile perch here, but... I'm going to have to check that timer to see how much more time we have left on this thing. Oh, come on. Dang on. He's, maybe he is another young one. I don't know. Either that or he's on the upper end of things.
He's putting up a pretty good fight. Of course, he's got the invisible wall to help him. <laughs> yeah, he's going to the other side of the, of the wall now, so... Got a better chance of it now. Come on. Ugh. I'm going for a ride. <laughs> Not sure how long he's going to take me for, but there he is. Yeah, he was just a young one, but he was on the upper end of things. Oh, guys, I, let me check the map here. Yep, I got less than two minutes. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll be back with another episode. In as I always say guys, aim straight, cast far, have fun. I will see you later. Bye bye.